Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Vistania, the mother of gargoyles. And we're a queen, because we formed Poland last episode, but I forgot to give away one of our duchies that we conquered, so I just gave it away to one of our sons, so now both are dukes. And since we gave him a duchy, he absolutely loves us right now, so I'm gonna take this moment and see if he wants to convert. It's only a 40% chance, but even if he declines, he's still gonna love us, so it's worth a chance. Uh, let's just see if he accepts. And uh, I've decided to follow you into the light. Yes, excellent. So, he is definitely gonna like us a lot more now, because now we don't have an evil religion, according to him. But since, we, uh, since we're a queen now, we have to hold court. And we haven't done that yet, although someone wants something first. Piraya at court. So the first thing that happens is I am judged harshly for my hospitality towards Carola the criminal. Who, <laughs> she, her name is Carola the criminal? Well, then it seems fair that I judge her harshly. But she is avoided by almost everyone on account on, of her wicked faith. My failure to condemn and continue proximity to this irredeemable fiend is perceived as an open tolerance, tarnishing my court's reputation in the eyes of the regents and faithful. They have... They have forced my hand and must now decide whether my courtier's crime outweighs my affection for her. Surely something must be done. Are courtiers really that hard to replace? Okay, so I guess my hospitality haven't been harsh towards her. We have, we have showed her hospitality and we are judged harshly because of that. I misunderstood. But you are... Okay, you're just some random... No, wait, you're, you're the wife of one of my ghouls. So, I'm not gonna throw her out. But, we can force her to... To repent. Which... Uh, I think that's a good option. People like us better. And we get some piety. And uh, we'll, we're gonna force them to convert. Because that's... That's good anyway. But, let's hold court for the first time. First... First in line. My friend Magister Pal takes turn bending my ear before the assembled court. Glorious friend, give me the honor of protecting you from, from your enemies and serving at your side. I will not let you down. I suppose these jobs have to be done by somebody. Okay, right. Oh man, you're really mad at me. Oh. Because I hold uh, the Jure Duchy stuff. Okay. Um, well... He's still my friend, so that's good. But this reminds me, we have to appoint some primogens. Because we're making good money, we might as well spend that on some primogens. But we can give him the guard as a bodyguard. Or the job as a bodyguard. Um, I don't think we will. Partly because... Oh, actually, he's pretty strong. But mostly because I want to I wanna see the actual effects and... If we have anyone better. So we're not going to do that. Master of Horse is, is... Oh, that's Knight Effectiveness. Which we also would like to see his actual effect. Because I don't think it shows anywhere here how good it would be on, uh, for it. So I'm not going to make him a jester. I'm just going to make him a little bit mad. That's fine. Over the last few days I have heard tell of, of a mighty hero of the peasantry. Who has won the hearts and minds of the common people through incredible deeds and matchless bravery. This hero, goes by the name of Adriana, has been defending the small folk from the Frankish raiders and has now traveled the way to, all the way to Krakow to seek an audience with me. There is no doubt that Adriana is a great hero. However, my court are, my court are adamant that I do not elevate commoners beyond their station. So, ooh, you're a young, strong you're gonna be a ghoul. So someone has to has to go, I guess. But yeah, I'm making her a ghoul. She's an excellent ghoul. But in that case, I guess I'm just gonna pay her to join my court. I don't think I'm gonna honor her or anything. We got plenty of prestige, so I think we're good on that. Um, <laughs> I mean, we could just imprison her that way. We can make a ghoul for free. But I think I'd rather just pay a little bit and not do the tyranny thing. <laughs> um, because that is... I mean, that's not that bad. 
And we would lose stress because we're callous. But I think we're just gonna... Although every every knight is gonna be a little bit mad at us. You know what? We are gonna <laughs> imprison you. Just to lower that stress. Uh, you're just a human. Who cares? I can do whatever I want with you. There we go. And... Oh, I guess... Uh, Right, she's really strong, and we're not super strong, so I hope we win this. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> oh, either way, um, should have really pinned her. Did I pin her? I don't know. The next petitioner is evidently some somewhat of a stranger in this court, as I do not recognize her, and the eyes of Marshal Alexander Nevsky have been on them since the first since they first entered. My lady, I have come to declare that the people of Saris are refusing to pay taxes you have levied upon us. In times past, our land and people were gr uh, granted rights and privilege, which your recent ex exa exactions ignore. We request that you address our concerns fairly, or else. Okay, um, I mean, it seems like a lie, because I used to rule that place with an iron fist. And everyone paid taxes and they liked it. So, we can imprison Vali Vasilika, which, uh... Ooh, you're also an excellent, an excellent ghoul. An Amazonian. Yeah, I will imprison you. That sounds awesome. So, it doesn't matter if I happen to lose against the other lady, because she would also be a great ghoul. Uh, don't want that, don't want that. You know what? Nah. We're just gonna imprison her. This is fine. Tax revolt crushed. So we're gonna... Hey, it said we had a very good chance of... Well, okay. Um, do another 51% then. And my business is done here. So before we do this... Um, okay, first of all. Couple of things in preparations. Uh, we're actually good on blood. We're gonna do some blood sorcery. Um, oh, we need... Is it perfect clarity I want? I think so. Um, we could also blood surge. Which gi will give us a little bit more... Which will give us more prowess. Yeah, this is, this is the one. So, blood surge a little bit. There we go. And our blood is unchanged. Excellent. We're also going to do some blood sorcery. Centering. Does that do prowess? Or do we already have centering even? I, no, that's just learning. This gives just skills. But it couldn't hurt. I thought one of these... Uh, one of these... True strike. Is that it? Yes. That is what I want. Could be really bad, but it's just helping 12%. <laughs> How could this possibly go poorly? What does wind dance do? Oh, movement speed. Oh, that's really good. Should probably get that. And friend less friendly fatal casualties. This is really good. And that's good too. Should probably do some of these, but for now... Actually, we can purchase wind as well, because I'm going to want to use that eventually. But, strike true. Did, did we do it? Yes! Successful. Excellent. Um, we didn't seem to increase, though. Huh. Because we should have gotten six more. Oh, well. This is fine. Uh, we're gonna drink a little bit too, because we have a bunch of used boxes here in our in our prison. Actually, we should go for the oldest one, because they will die die soonest. So we're just gonna execute you and uh, drink your stuff. Excellent. And now we're ready to imprison people. Well, we do still need to fix our masquerade, but that's fine. Let's see. I I lost the fight. God dang it. Okay. The other one. New prisoner. Excellent. So, we at least get one of them as a ghoul. We are wounded. Or, well, they are also now, but... 
Oh, oh. So, I don't want to go in the tank here. Just in case... Uh, just in case we get injured or something here. Uh, we're gonna have to do this anyway, so cover up. Let's do magic, because that is our best, best thing. God damn, we get a lot of stress. <laughs> we really need to fix our stress somehow. But we're still just stress level 1, so I guess that's fine. But we are fine now. Uh, sanguine, so we don't need to drink her. But we are gonna kill her. And I'm assuming that worked. Yeah, whatever. Uh, we're gonna blood heal as well. Because I don't... Oh, we can't. Oh, because we did it not that long ago, I guess. Or is it because we blood surged? Either way, we're fine. We're a vampire. We can handle some wounds. But we are gonna make a prison ghoul. Oh, right. We already, we're already at four. Um, Let's see. Manipulate herd. No. Um, manipulate ghoul. Didn't I not check your blood? Because I wanted to... Well, you know what? I'm going to herdify you. Oh. I guess our herd is capped already. Well, that's fine. We are going to release you. Because I don't need you anymore. You're bad. I don't like you. But shouldn't we be able to have four thralls then? Or herds? Because it was... Or was it two plus every eight stewardship? Ah, either way. It said we couldn't have any more, so we can't have any more. So, we're gonna ghoul you. Very nice. You're ghouled. And you did get potency, but... I was hoping you'd get more of those, but that's fine. You're still... You're a ghoul, you're healthy, everything is good. I'm gonna negotiate a release. And uh, I guess I can't grab a hook because we already have a blood bond on you, so. Ah, crap. Well, we can make her our executioner, I guess. That way we don't get any, any stress. Because I guess we're too callous to release people. <laughs> And I don't want to banish her, so I guess she's my executioner right now. Oh, actually. She's going to be a terrible executioner, isn't she? And we ha we're going to have to pay her then. Let's see. Executioner. Executioner. No. There's executioner. See, it's average. So, yeah, let's uh, let's make her our executioner. It's, she's good enough. I'd rather pay a little bit. And we get some opinion bonus and dread and stuff. So that's fun. fun. And uh, we don't get the stress. Because I don't want the stress. And we definitely have the money, so it's fine. But we are gonna go and see. Can check... Yeah, well, actually, first, 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 first. We're gonna do the primogens, because there are some really good ones. I do very much like... It's the gangrel I like, but we definitely don't have... Oh, we have gangrels? But this will <laughs> reduce the number of knights. We have gangrels. Ooh, I wanna, I wanna imprison you and make you into a gargoyle. But that's not gonna happen right now. I don't think we have any good Malkavians. Nope. Definitely no, Mar uh, no Nosferatu. We should have some good Tremere. And learning per fame and uh, monthly lifestyle is not bad. And you're excellent. So I'm gonna make you the, the Tremere Primogen. Which is very fitting, fitting because you're my son. Is there anyone else? Because some of these are really good, and I wish I had some good gangrel primogen. Because, but I don't think I could hold hold myself from uh, not making them into into um, uh, gargoyles. But is that 
Is that all of them that I want? I guess so. Because we don't have any... I don't think we have any Bruja. Well, we do, but she's poor. So we don't ha really have any good ones. Yeah. Do we have any good Ventru? No. Okay, so no, none of these, I guess. But we could get some Master of Horse. Master of Horse is good. It makes our knights better. It also get, gets us grandeur and stuff. And he is excellent. So I like that. You're our Master of Horse. Artificer, 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 Poet. Meh. I just... I mean, Court Grandeur is fine, but I mostly did it because of uh, Knight eff efficiency, eff <laughs> Knight Effectiveness. And it's not that much, but he also gets opinion of us and stuff. So that's fun. And that's Primogens again, so let's check the common stuff. So, Court Seer wouldn't be necessarily bad. This isn't bad. We get more from terrified people and we are terrifying sometimes. And we get a little bit of piety. Do we want that? I mean, I mean we do want the piety, but... I think... Yeah, I think uh, that's the last one we kind of want. Actually, personal champion is also pretty nice. But... I like the extra piety, extra diplomacy isn't bad, and we will we might get some money out of that, so that's good. And let's see, personal champion. We have a good, which isn't bad. And he can take our place in duels, which... Uh, it seems like we really need someone to take our place in duels, so I'm gonna appoint him. And... We do pay a lot of money for this now, but I think it's worth it. It's just 2.5. It's actually not that much, so I'm happy with that. So let's just let some time pass, because we need to replenish our troops before we do anything kind of warlike. And I think we're just gonna untick that, because I don't think I care about that. Or do we want to make a cadet branch? I don't think so. Because, uh, yeah, I think, does it start at zero or do we just become the head of and just inherit everything we have from our already, um, our dynasty already? I don't know, but I think I'm fine without it. I, I, I don't think we're doing that, so that's fine. We can go on a pilgrimage in three years. And when can we do this again? In February. Oh, hiccup. Always hiccups. And are you... No, that wasn't a raid. Very good. Oh, stone babies. No, it was said February maybe. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, Febu February. <laughs> Wait, who's raiding? Oh, there are raiders here. Ah, oh, you bastards. Um, We could pay to just rebuild... Help them rebuild, I think that's fine. And uh, we are just gonna just raise the local army, that's fine. There's still gonna be a lot of strong stuff in there. Oh, right, you are the people who live here, but we're gonna go and uh, kill these idiots. Because they are raiding my land. Prisoner? No. But we took our loot back, which is excellent. And unfortunately, we can't raid. I would love to go raiding, because then I would just go and raid the, uh, the Ferals and the Tsimiche and stuff. Because that could give us a bunch of prisoners, and that would have been excellent way of making gargoyles, but... No raiding for us. So, let's just start making a bunch of gargoyles, because we need our military back. But we have... I wish... Oh, I wish you could just merge these idiots. It's such a long list. 
But oh, we can lash out. As soon as all vessels are seated. Yeah, it's the same thing. Uh, are you always such a damn knave? And you are just a born bastard? Yeah, bastard. Um, I'm gonna just hit that and do it every time we can. And we're just gonna let some time pass. Is this... Is this part of uh, our duchies? No, it's of Opolania. But is it part of Poland? It is part of Poland, so we do have some de jure claims on it. Hey, I healed. Very nice. So we could go and grab that, which uh, I think we might. I think we might. So, since we have a de jure claim, I'm just gonna grab it. We're gonna raise everyone. There we go. Go and. Take this, see if we can... And we got no... No prisoners. Dang it. I need ceviche. But let's uh, get rid of the gargoyles again. And this is getting silly. I'm sure there's some mod that lets you merge special units or something, but... Because you can't do it here, right? No. But disband them, that's fine. Because I don't want to take attrition on them. Oh, right. We need to... Oh! He attacked us. Oh, perfect. Move to the dungeon. We got another Tsimiche. And no no prisoners. Womp womp. But we can enforce this demand. Grab it. You're gone. Very good. And you. I would very much like to imprison you, but <laughs> that's not gonna happen. Oh well. Huh, you're not bad though. Not bad. But I still would like to make you a into a gargoyle. No offense. But, oh. Why does it lag so much every time I try to open the military screen? I, it freaks me out. But we're gonna increase this to like, like so. Because we are sieging very slowly, and I just need more mangonels. And the reason we have two is because I need it. They start at five, but if you build a big one, they don't come with... They don't fill up uh, instantly, and we needed more for a war, so... <laughs> but... There's no prisoners I missed that we got? No? And we've had some... Oh, crap! He was one of the guys who get released, because I guess he was family. Dang! Oh, well, I thought I disbanded you. Oh, well, whatever. Oh! There are raiders. Mood of the clan. Some people feel marginalized, but not the Tremere, because this time I actually remember to do it. Chase them down. Bring my loot back. They brought... They stole shit from me. There we go. And we didn't, we didn't capture anyone. That's too bad. But I bet we killed a bunch. Very nice. More stone babies. All of them. Oh, hey, court grandeur. Why is it such a, such a aggressive sound when that happens? Oh, right. We also have a ghoul that I never married, married off. I just gave her a job and. Send her out on her own, I guess. You're not her. Is it? Yeah, that's that's her. So, let's find someone with inheritable traits. Because I want good ghouls. And let's do according to age, because I don't want to marry him off to, her off to some 50-year-old. Okay, so we have a 37-year-old and a 1-year-old. Well... The men are fertile until they're like 70, so fine. You can uh, you can marry. It's fine. Mostly us want the Amazonian anyway. And the hail. Oh, wait. Right. Those are the same ones, but Amazonian just the max one. So I, I just hope... I think it makes it more likely, though, if both of them have it. So 
Maybe we can get some uh, Herculean or Amazonian revenants, which would be excellent. And who are you fighting? Salzburg. Oh, it's an independence war. And he's losing. That's interesting. So. Etrius is uh, becoming weak. And he had to go down to limited crown authority, which is good for us. And we're going to go on a pilgrimage. And I think we're just going to keep going to London because that's the only one that's very long. Which is going to be the best one. And we can afford it. So. Let's go. Let's go see London. Let's go hang out in Piccadilly and uh, watch a musical. Wherever you watch musicals in London. I know you go to London to watch musicals. But I don't... They don't have like Broadway. I don't know. Recently, I feel like I'm not worthy of the Kingdom of Poland. Stop being so hard on yourself and lose some stress. You're fine. You're doing fine. Oh, I wait to the noise of chaos in camp, but it only takes me a few moments to realize what's happening. We're under attack. Bandits are swarming our tents and wagon while our guards do nothing. What? Our guards do what they can to resist. I just assume they do nothing. Where's my sword? Well, well, you have a very good chance of uh, doing that. So I'm going to do that. Nice. Free prestige. Passing by the campfires of my fellow travelers. Uh, passing. One of my fellow travelers is telling a story she once heard about some pontifex to ra raucous laughter. They fall silent when I approach, except for the storyteller. Ah, <laughs> don't worry, my lady. You're nothing like the fiend in this story. It's about the pontifex of some faraway place called Poland. Really? Well, tell me more about this pontifex. Or we just... <laughs> we just whip him. Well, we are pretty callous. So... Um... How about the guards fetch my whip? <laughs> uh, that is The other one is just better probably, but I just thought it was fun. A family reunion is a rare occurrence in the canine circles. Okay, so we have to hold a family reunion again. So we can um, decrease the masquerade exposure, which um, is fine. That's good. Or we can just get opinion with everyone. Which I like. We can fix our our uh, masquerade no problem. It might cost a little bit of blood. But then we have the juice boxes in prison. So that's fine. I'm just gonna get the opinion. The arrival. I'm finally here, body and soul, at the Great Chantry in London. As the regents offer me blessings, I reflect on everything that had happened to magic. That had happened for magic to bring me here at this very moment. And we get a bunch of piety. Very nice. We're known for our dedication. Oh, we are a religious icon, so now we can't get any higher. Very nice. And we are two levels away, right? Yeah, two levels away in uh, prestige, but we're working our way and we get extra nights from it, which is excellent. The return. We're going home. Very nice. Oh, there's all the, <laughs> all the decisions. Oh, we can found a holy order. Oh, I do like doing that. And is it time for our, our third son? Where are all the legendary ladies? So It's just dudes. You have been following the career of a mortal for quite some time now. This Reynold Bastelli is a Hungarian baron, soldier and courtier, who was a staunch supporter of Duke Stephen, originating from royal ser a royal servant family. He elevated into nobility due to his military success and loyalty. Hungary, Hungary has known a lot of trouble recently with several civil wars, but Reynold has always remained true to his liege, coming quite close to death to protect the royal family. When the throne was finally, was finally inherited by a young boy, Reynold was the stalwart center of the court, making sure that his king would suffer no harm. Such constant display of loyalty, skill and arms and shrewd po uh, political sense is intriguing and since Reynold has recently been promoted to, uh, to another position far from the court, you could be interested in arranging an accident to make him disappear from mortal history. Which uh, we're just gonna do it with prestige. I like, uh, I like embracing these uh, 
his uh, notable characters, mostly because, well, not only because they're, uh, they got excellent stats often, but also yeah, they're cool. They're uh, historical figures, so it's fun to have historical figures become vampires and hang out in your court, because that's just, that's just what the world of darkness is. There's so many <laughs> famous people that are just vampires. Or at least famous histor historical people that are just uh, vampires. And our buddy wants to give us money, which, of course, I love to. Now I'm gonna lash out on some, some of my courtiers. I'm gonna not make uh, stone babies. But we could found a hold holy order, which we definitely have the piety for. We have the money for it. And it would help our conquest... Uh, in the area not again not if we want to get get the independence because well we are gonna have to fight etrius for that and well it only works on on opposing religions i think right i'm pretty sure <laughs> but i do like having holy orders so yeah let's do it Oh, now I realize we didn't check uh, where they got their stuff, but that's all right. But let's have a look at our holy order and please don't crash. <laughs> so they come with some order knights, which are very good man at arms and some levies. And we can't see their their champions, but they should have at least a champion. A competitor. Oh, you absolute bastard. And this is the Voivodet, so we might not want to be rival with the Emperor next door. That might be dangerous. So we can just uh, distract him. We have plenty of money and prestige, so let's just go with that. That is fine. Hey, a new perk. And beautiful stone babies. All of them, as usual. And we're getting a lot of levies, which is very nice. They can work as meat shields. So speaking of meat shields, although I, ca I guess our gargoyles are kind of meat shields, but their best role is actually pursuing once we beat someone. Because their pursuit is so good and they're very tanky. But uh, I, I hate this. <laughs> I don't know why it does that. It It's never done that for me before, but... I think maybe some bowmen because they're very offensive and most of our other stuff is just defense so some extra damage wouldn't be bad and bowmen are kind of cheap so I do like getting some bowmen light footman is tanky right yeah they're kind of balanced but mostly kind of defensive could get some horsemen they would be pretty good chasing but we have plenty of gargoyles for that so, I just kind of want the offensiveness of them. And we do have a lot of planes, right? Yeah, these are all planes. And, and forest, actually. Seems to be as much forest as planes. And I think bowmen work in forest. Yeah, they get toughness and screen in forest. And we have hills. Don't have taiga. So... Because we're... Well, the taiga belts and around here somewhere. But I do like the archers because they are a lot cheaper as well. It's equal size and we have plenty of pursuit power. So I think we're just going to go with some damage. And let's just pump that up once. Very good. Let's get a little bit extra punch. I think it's going to be good. And how are our... Okay, I didn't like this. <laughs> I've been clicking a lot of military and it freaks me out every time. <laughs> Uh, how is our champions? We have 12. 1, 2, 3. Oh. Okay, so we have... Oh, wait. We have another... Okay, there's one gargoyle that actually doesn't get to fight because uh, these two are pretty good fighters. One of, the, one of them is our ghoul, which is very cool. Okay. But I think we could start doing some fighting now. Oh, I like Vanish. Vanish is good. It'll allow us to just say nope if anyone attacks us. Oh, we can also 
Oh, that's our son. But yeah, we we are gonna negotiate an alliance because we don't have any other really, and that will prevent him from ever rising up against us. But I figured maybe we want to fight like Silesia. They don't really have any allies. They are fighting one of my. No, wait. One. Oh, my son is attacking Silesia. It's only for this little thing. Although we don't have enough piety to fight for a duchy anyway, so maybe we fight... No, they are strong though. Serebia is also kind of strong. So Silesia is the way to go if we want to fight someone. Oh, you look weird. Oh, what are you? What the hell are you? Okay, so you, you've been flesh crafting or whatever it's called, right? Right? Crafter can sculpt the flesh and bone of a subject, making them a, cre a creature of alien beauty or gnawing them into deformed monstrosity. Yeah, this is why Tsumichi are <laughs> really cool, actually. Because they just make monstrosities. Like this guy. He looks really cool, though. Yeah, so I think we're just gonna chill then. And uh, see if we they're just gonna win this for us. And, um, yeah, let's see what happens. Exotic arms. Along with their strange goods, merchants bring tall tale from distant lands, unverifiable, full of wonder. A group of Polish peddlers purport to have brought Mongol objects, said to have come from the faraway court of a great ruler, Wolof of Yesegi of a Ango Angara, no less. Pavel, the, leader, the leading trader, grins darkly. This unique sword could be yours, for a special price, of course. Great pontifex. I li a likely yarn indeed, if only it ha I had some way of verifying the hawker's story, and the Mongol sword is not very good. So I'm, I think I'm gonna keep my money. Oh, actually. Oh, someone... No, wait, we have this side too, so we can attack Prussia. Oh, and we have an uprising, so we're gonna have to fight a little bit anyway, but this is gonna be very easy. So let's just raise local. I think we're gonna get rid of all the gargoyles because just to preserve them. Because we're not gonna have to chase any, they're gonna get stack wiped anyway. And where are you going? Okay, let's go to Plock first. Let's disband these if we can. Oh, come on, why can't we disband you? Yeah, so they got insta bopped. We lost 24 levies, so we're fine. I just didn't want to risk any of my goggles. Hey, the embrace is finished. Very nice. I have orchestrated events so that Reynold Baste Basdeli has fallen into my clutches. In a secluded place, he will not be able to escape. Shall I grant immortality even though his, it means his damnation? Did my creator have such thoughts? So, please don't turn on me and kill me. And he didn't. Very good. Because there all is always that little chance that he'll just can't control the beast the moment he gets that surge of uh, vitality when they become a vampire and just pounce on you. But we are gonna go and... Oh, education. Your new child. We're gonna go on that. And we're just gonna kill these idiots. Win this. And this. Of course, demand. Very good. And... Prisoner. You are going to be executed. We can do a public execution. Just to gain a little bit of control. Because uh, I do think we have... We don't have the greatest of control. No. Oh, right. Um, that's not how I do it. But yeah, we're just going to execute her and do it publicly. Because we don't really need a drink. Although, what... Uh, you don't even have a flavor, so we're just gonna publicly execute you. And we get a a little bit of popular opinion as well. There we go. Executed. And you're human, human, and human. Boring. Give me some vampires I can turn into gargoyles. But we are gonna end this episode here. And next time we, we're gonna find someone to conquer. And it might just be Prussia, because they're not very strong.
I'm betting they have some fairly strong champions because... Oh, they are a Ventru. I thought you would be a Gangrel. But either way, we're going to go conquer them. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.